What's up anglers and anglets, it's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. So for this video, this is technically a catch and cook, but it's a catch and cook with a twist. Let me throw you a hypothetical. You went fishing on a charter boat, you come home, and then you realize you caught more fish than you needed, or you have leftover fish that's just gonna end up sitting in the freezer. Now we've all been there, we've sometimes had more fish than we needed, and we already gave it out to friends, but you still got a couple, you know, fish here and there that you don't wanna waste, you know? These are good fish. What are you gonna do with them? You can make fresh cat food. So, before we start, what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about the science and the reasoning and my thoughts and concerns. So if you guys aren't interested in that part per se, go ahead and use the timestamps in the description below to skip to the straight cooking part. Alright, I'll just give you guys a couple seconds. Still here? Alright, good. So, let me give you my thoughts. This recipe I'm about to show you is very quick and easy and you can use almost any leftover fish. My suggestion is to look up the fish that you want to prep it for and make sure it's okay. Generally it's going to be okay, but you always want to double check, especially if you're, you know, feeding this fish to your pet cat. So this recipe is good for both your pet cat as well as stray cats. But wait, now you're wondering why feed stray cats? Isn't cats really bad for the environment? There's a truth to that. Cats themselves are natural killing machines. In the neighborhood, they do decimate a lot of local birds, lizards, and whatever they can get their hands on because, you know, they're hungry and they're gonna eat. It can be bad for the environment, so why am I making food for a potential stray cat? Well, think about it this way. If you feed a stray cat, they'll keep coming back to you. So one, you get a pet cat. But two, if they're fed, they aren't going to kill as much. Now, it's ingrained in them to obviously hunt. That's what they're really good at. They're very good predators, but they're not gonna just kill as much if they're full, you know what I mean? It's like, why are you going to hunt down a second burger if you already ate one five minutes ago? There can be a lot of controversy with feeding stray cats. I'm not gonna get too into it. I'm just giving you my thoughts and I'm not trying to waste fish, you know what I mean? So my neighborhood does have some stray cats here and there. It'll be fun to not waste the fish and make something good out of it. If I can feed some cats and they aren't going to kill as much wildlife since I started feeding them, then it kind of pans out, right? So with that said, let me show you the fish. So this guy is an ocean whitefish. This is a real Really good fish for eats. When they're nice and chunky, they make great fish tacos. I have another ocean whitefish right here, a sharp nose sea perch. All these three fish right here will make good cat food. And, but look at this guy, he's so cool. We've always been told, and you can see it in marketing with canned foods, cats like to eat fish, you know? Like you see cartoons with a nice big fish and they go ballistic for it. Now that's true, cats do like fish, but in nature, it's very uncommon. With that said, when you wanna feed cats, you shouldn't feed your cat fish too often. It's good for them, like it has good proteins and it's easy for them to digest, but you don't wanna feed them too often fish. Your cat also likes the taste of fish, so you can feed them raw fish like this after you prep it, or you can cook them up a bit. It's much better to cook up your fish. That's because raw fish, and especially certain species like whitefish, their raw meat has a lot of an enzyme called thiaminase. And it's basically an enzyme that breaks down thiamine. I'm not gonna get too scientific with it, but raw fish, thiaminase, vitamin B deficiency in cats. So that's why you don't want to feed them raw fish and you don't want to feed them fish too often in general. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prep each of these guys, clean them up, fillet them, and then I'm going to bake them. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to straight up bake them and then they're good to go for cat food, you know? All right, so here are the three fish again. Like I said, I'm going to do a bake recipe for them. Very simple, very easy. All you got to do is clean up the fish. So let's clean up the fish. Wow, all the fish is done. Just kidding, I didn't want to show all the gutting and cleaning. What I did was, I scaled it lightly. Cat's digestive system are really good. Little scales aren't gonna hurt them. Little scales aren't gonna hurt us either, you know? Then I filleted them, and as you can see, my fillet job is actually not that bad. I'm a little proud of myself. Amber's way better at this. She's the cook, you know? I'm the messing around cook. I think I did a pretty good job. What do you think, honey? So, the next thing you want to do now 
is to remove any bones that are in there, especially the pin bones. Knowing my fillet job, there's probably a whole bunch of bones everywhere. So what you can do with that is just have some tweezers. It can just be a really nice cheap one. You can probably pick one up at Walmart for like a dollar or two. You just run your finger through the fillet and anything that feels hard is a bone. So right here, I can kind of flick at it. That's a piece of the bone. It's probably part of the rib cage because I didn't really fillet correctly, but it's fine, not a big deal. Go through the whole fillet. The reason why I'm deboning the fillets is because just like us, we don't want to eat bones, so why not make it easier for the cats? We don't want to cause any problems for them in case a bone accidentally hurts them, you know? Like in the wild, they'll be fine, they'll figure it out, but I'm in control here, so why not make it easier for them? So that's all you gotta do is just run your finger down, get as much bones as you can, and then we can start baking. So I'll see you guys then. It's gonna take a little bit. Here's one filet, deboned. The meat's kind of matted up, so it's whatever. Then you take it and you put it in a bowl. All right, there we go. All the fish are deboned. I did an okay job, I think. I would do a way better job. <laughs> then this is all the fish carcasses. You can throw them away, or what my grandpa taught me was that you could dig a hole next to a citrus tree, bury it down, and it becomes great fertilizer. And then the next season, when you have some fresh fruits, it's gonna be incredibly sweet. And now I'm just gonna do a little cleanup so it's not such a mess. All right, next you wanna do is to preheat your oven. For this, I like to do about 375, and I'm gonna have it on fan and bake. Preheat the oven by turning it on. All right, for the baking, it's fairly simple. I got this little baking tray down here. I got aluminum foil, and then all you gotta do is line down the fish. You don't want to season, spice, add anything to it. Cats like the straight up taste of fish. Actually, I'm gonna do skin side up. You want the fish to stay nice and moist so you can mash it up a little bit later. This is a really bad fillet job right here. <laughs> Just space them out nicely, and then there you go. What you could do after is put some more aluminum foil on top of it, or kind of close it up to try to capture most of the moisture and keep it in. It doesn't have to be pretty, just has to get the job done. Now, once the oven is done preheating, we can go ahead and plop it in. All right, the oven looks like it's preheated. Plop this guy in, and then set a timer. I'm just gonna do five minutes first, and then check on it. You wanna do this at least 10, 15 minutes. Okay, timer went off. Now let's go ahead and check it out. Actually looking pretty good. Might not need the 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and close it back up. There's a lot of good fishy juices. It smells like fish, which is what we're going for. Like I said, don't add anything to it. Nice, clean, fresh bake. All right, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. Another five minutes have passed. It's basically done. I don't think I'm gonna do another five minutes of actually having it cooking. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna close it back up. I'm gonna put it back in. Then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. I'm gonna let the ambient heat carry over for another five minutes. It doesn't need to cook anymore. I just want to be a little bit extra. That's just me. An extra five minutes of just letting it carry over. There we go. It's carried over five minutes. Let's get it out. Careful not to burn yourself. Just place it there. Let it cool for a little bit. And there it is. Some freshly baked, no spiced fish. Put it into an appropriate container. I have one right here. This is my Meow Meal box. And it's also laid in cat noms, so no one will accidentally eat it. Even if you do accidentally eat it, it's okay. It's literally just fish that's fresh and it's baked. It's just gonna taste like fish and nothing. I have made a mistake. It's falling apart very nicely, which is good. And put it into the container. A little spatula will do a better job. Scoop and plop. Scoop and pop. Take the fish juice and then just carefully pour it in. And there you have it. Some fresh cat food. Mush it up a bit, chunk it up, get like small pieces here and there, some big pieces, add some variety in a sense. All super easy and clean for the cats to eat. And that's it. Really simple recipe, very easy to do. The only annoying thing for the entire recipe was literally just the filleting and removing the pin bones. Once this cools down a little bit more, I'm gonna plop it in the fridge and then give it out to some of the cats. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. If you have any thoughts, comments, or concerns, let me know. I'm not very versed about cats' diet or their needs and stuff like that. Amber knows a lot more than me. If she was here, I'd ask her what I need to do, but this is very simple. So thanks for watching and see you guys later.